I just want to read what uh, Senator Schumer said when Rachel asked him, what are you going to do if Mitch McConnell doesn't reach an agreement on this? And uh, Senator Schumer said, we've been thinking about this. Stay tuned. Uh, And Rachel asked, do you have tricks up your sleeve? And of course, he laughed and he said, stay tuned. Ezra, he just kept saying stay tuned, which in the close up video was a very direct threat to Mitch McConnell of the so-called nuclear option, which would have blown up the minority rights to uh, filibuster obstructionism completely. Perhaps I seem to be somewhat less happy with how this all resolved than everybody else is. Uh, Senator Sinema and Senator Manchin came out today, Democrats from Arizona and West Virginia, and they said that they would absolutely under no circumstances be the vote to abolish the filibuster. Now, as Norm says, there are ways you can reform it that maybe technically what they're saying is they'd be open to those. I would have been happier to see Sinema and Manchin come out and say with Senate with Leader Schumer that if Mitch McConnell and the Republicans are even going to block the resolution to put the Senate together this year, then of course they would support the budget recon- I'm sorry, the nuclear option in order to get rid of the filibuster, even if it's only on the organizing motion. So I think the, the real question here is what is in Cinema and Manchin's heads? Is that a coordinated move with Schumer where he said, look, go give these statements and give McConnell a fig leaf to back down? Or if they are really coming out and saying that they are going to oppose any movement to make the Senate work better? Because really what we're seeing here is McConnell flexing muscle to block things, even for a little bit, that shouldn't ever Ever be blocked. He is signaling exactly how obstructionist he will be. And at least a couple of Democrats, instead of coming out and punishing him for it, said that they would, in principle, support his demand to leave the filibuster unchanged. So I would say whether or not this portends a Senate that works or a Senate that completely fails is a little bit unclear, at least at this moment. Uh, but Norm, the the those two senators could change their minds over time, depending on how obstructionist Mitch McConnell becomes. Uh, th- this is this is what the game is now. It's it's how often does Chuck Schumer have to threaten a nuclear option when he can? And Ezra's right; he has to be able to actually threaten it. Uh, and it sounded like he did have 50 senators ready to go to at least break through this filibuster uh, of the organizing resolution. And once that wall is cracked, that would, that would have been a pretty big crack in that wall. I do think that if this had gone on for another few days, what Manchin said was, I want them to get together. When it became clear that McConnell wasn't going to get together with Schumer, he might have been able to do that for that one organizing resolution. What I would tell you, Lawrence, is I've worked on this issue, as you know, with senators for a very long time. And you're not going to get, it's not just Manchin and Cinema. it's also uh, Dianne Feinstein, for example. You're not going to get them to go for the full nuclear option of getting rid of the filibuster for legislation entirely. But one small thing that you could do that would make a huge difference is simply changing the standard from 60 senators needed to stop debate to either 40 senators needed to continue it, or my preference, 45, or even just make it a present and voting standard. If you need uh, three-fifths of the Senate present and voting, Republicans have to stick around all the time. They have to be there for round-the-clock sessions. Right now, the burden is entirely on the majority. If you move it to the minority, then a clever Schumer can bring up things like a simple background check, universal background check on guns, the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, force them to go round the clock explaining why they're for voter suppression or against something that 90 percent of Americans want. So there are tools there that I think can convince the recalcitrants to go along. But as Ezra said, it may take a while with a little bit more obstruction to make it work. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.